It's Sylvester McRuddy Coy. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, uh, Ruddy well. That's lovely to hear. You've recently been in a brand new Russell T. Davis audio drama. How does it feel to technically now be a new series, Doctor? A new series, Doctor? Well, well, you've done a Russell T. Davis story, so... I, I, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant that um, I was really chuffed when they asked me to do it. I'm glad he wrote that story about my Doctor. Yeah. Were you, were you ever a fan of the, the Virgin New Adventures yourself? Did you get a chance to have a flick through any of them? Well, yes and no. I mean, I was. the thing is that when they first did them, they used to send me uh, a, a copy of the book and a £50 note. Hee <laughs> hee! Wasn't a lot of money, but it was something. And then suddenly when Virgin took over, they stopped doing it. So therefore, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry to hear that anyway. But beyond that, um, I suppose the question that a lot of us are asking, because we all really enjoyed seeing you in the, um, the Five-ish Doctors, yeah. is there any talk of a sequel? And I suppose a follow-up question to that would be, if you were to write it, what would happen in it? Oh, gosh. Well, um, the thing is that uh, everyone in that, five, you know, the Five-ish Doctors, did it for nothing, did it for love. Uh, love of the, the programme, love of the fans, and so that's why we got them. I mean, if we had to do a sequel, to get someone like Ian McKellen would cost us 20 million. <laughs> and also, I would charge a few bob as well, as would all the others, rightly so. So, I, I don't think it will be, another one will be made. Oh, wait, I mean, you could... It could possibly, you know, if there was a, what do you call it, uh, you, you raise money on the... Internet. Crowdfunding. Yeah, maybe, if, but that's the only way it could be done. And uh, like I say, if you were to maybe write one, yeah. what would happen in it? Well, we'd take over, um, uh, oh, Top Gear. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, there's three of us, and we're all the right size. <laughs> I mean, Wh which one would you be? Well, I'd be the little one, obviously. <laughs> uh, you know, Sylvester the Hamster McCoy. When I saw it, uh, five years doctors, I, I was gobsmacked how small I was next to those two <laughs> other doctors. I suppose Colin would be the big grumpy one. Uh, and then, you know, Peter would be the, uh, the nice, gentle one in the middle. And any more film deals on the way? Ah, well, there is, you know, there's something in... I'm not saying. Livy? I love you. Livy loves you, and I think Dan loves you as well. <laughs> Thank you very much from the... F <laughs> it's a little bird. <laughs> it's one of those ones from The Hobbit. Thank you very much, Sylvester McCoy. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hello. You look really cool. Are you Matt Smith? I, like, I hope I am. You look very, very I good. 